What's up people it's Vikrant here welcome back to another video so today we'll be talking about trading journal how you can make a trading journal this is a very practical video on how I personally make my trading journal uh, using Microsoft Excel for free so in this video we'll be talking about just four simple basic points about starting a trading journal uh, the first one is I'll talk about what a trading journal is and why you need to make one then I'll jump into what risk reward ratio means because if you're a beginner you probably don't know what it means and then finally we'll jump into the more practical part where I will talk about how I make my trading journal for that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel or my podcast do so by clicking on the subscribe or the follow button and if you have any question for me you can ask me the question on Instagram at vikrantc2003 and I'll reply back to your question so let's begin so a trading journal is simply a spreadsheet containing the record of your trades to track and analyze your trades over time what gets measured gets managed so if you are a trader let's say you start trading in the month of april 2020 and you continue to lose money for three months you lose money in april may and june and you don't know what to do you don't know how you're losing money or what's going wrong and you continue to lose money now if you are analyzed and track your trades you would be able to you would be in a much better situation because the entire point of a trading journal is to look at what you are doing and the mistakes you make because most of the times you tend to make a lot of subtle mistakes that could simply be avoided and you could uh, you know protect your capital so, so a trading journal in short is simply a book that contains all the trades you make so that you can analyze it later now there are a few components I like to keep in my journal uh, the first one is the date and time then it's the name of the stock uh, next up we have quantity of how many stocks or shares I buy or sell uh, then there's action whether I buy whether I go long or I go short uh, next up we have uh, okay I've written quantity again so ignore the second quantity the next one is current market price then we have the reason why I bought it or why I shorted it on uh, the next two points are the stop loss and the target price and finally we have risk reward ratio so risk reward ratio is simply the amount of money you're willing to risk to make X amount of money let's say you go to a casino and bet a thousand bucks on the red uh, part of the roulette table so basically you risk a thousand bucks to make a thousand bucks because the payoff is one is to one so if you had gone with let's say a number like nine or seven then you would have chances such as one to thirty six but since you have bet it on red uh, the payoff is one is to one so basically you are risking a thousand bucks to make a thousand bucks so risk reward ratio is simply divide the profit the money you're gonna make by the risk you will take so since you're uh, risking a thousand bucks to make a thousand bucks you divide thousand by thousand that's one the risk reward ratio is one is to one that is one so uh, now let's talk about practical part on how you can make a trading journal okay so this is a, a, a trading journal I created today for a sample purpose now let me just zoom it in yeah so this is the day today that is 6th July 2020 the time was around 11 a.m. in the morning and the stock I was looking at was UPL limited so the quantity I bought was 30 so I bought 30 shares of UPL the reason why I bought it was uh, this let me just show you on, on a chart at that time the stock price was 456 rupees and I set my stop loss at 453 rupees and my target price was at uh, 460 rupees so the risk reward ratio was 1.33 uh, now that's not an ideal risk reward ratio but uh, anything above one is decent but ideally you need something like 1.5 or one or maybe two risk reward ratio so how do you find a, the risk reward ratio of a stock so what you need to do is uh, let me just tell give you an example let's say the stock price is 100 rupees uh, you set a stop loss at 99 and the target price is let's say 104 so what is the risk reward ratio uh, there's a simple formula I just add is equal to and the bracket then 104 minus the current market price and close the divided by 100 sorry I forgot to add the bracket yeah bracket 100 minus 
this. So target price minus current market price divided by current market price uh, minus stop loss and just place enter. So the risk reward ratio is four. So that's how you calculate. But um, if you simply just you know add the formula on the first one, you can just drag it down to. Uh, let me just show you. So you can just drag it down, and the next trade will show the risk reward ratio. One sixty p. Uh, one sixty rupees at one p.m. So that's how these are the few columns that I personally in when I trade in the stock market. So this is a spreadsheet of uh, my watch list or the stocks I was looking at at uh, you know at this morning. So let's take an example of SBI. So date was today. Time was around 11 a.m. in the morning. I was thinking of shorting the stock because there was a resistance at 188.5. The RSI was down and uh, there were bearish candlestick patterns in nifty today so if uh, the high kinishi candlestick uh you know closed twice be uh, below the support level uh i would short it so this was my plan but did not uh, this did not happen so i did not trade sbi uh, the market price was uh 188 the stop loss was set at 189.4 and the risk reward ratio uh, can be calculated uh, using the same formula that is is equal to target minus current market price bracket close divided by uh, yeah 1.5 was the risk reward ratio if I had taken that trade uh, but unfortunately this condition had not happened so uh, I did not take a trade so that's that's what you need to do you need to categorize all these uh, categories while you trade so I hope you got a little bit clarity on how you can set or how you can make a trading journal so uh, 